Hello friends, it's Julie and today is the 28th day of sending postcards out every day in the month of January and we only have three more days after this. We have two more spots in Post Crossing to send a postcard out. Um, just to note that every, I'm at the point where every 50 cards that I send out that are received, I get to send out an extra card. So right now I, I can do up to 13 traveling. Um, pretty soon I'll be able to do 14. Anyways. So we're going to request an address and it's going to go to the Netherlands named Connie. She has four cats and two guinea pigs. Her hobbies are working in the garden, reading books, cross stitch, and taking care of pets. My pets are my children. My work is in the administration at an aluminum company. I love to get cards of animals with cats and dogs and guinea pigs, especially foxes, hedgehogs, squirrel. Would be appreciated. If you find an orca card, it would be wonderful. Turtle, seahorses, and dolphins are something I like too, and bears, all sorts. Cute cards are welcome. Blue cats are fun. We just did a blue cat yesterday. If possible, I would like if you send me a card in an envelope. It this is not a must. I also like to receive international stamps from the Netherlands if you have some to spare, as I won't receive those myself. I'm going to branch out again, not send a Montana card. I'm going to send an animal card. There's a cat. Oh, here's a bear. Another bear. Oh, she did say squirrel. That's a chipmunk, though. Well, what would you pick? I mean, we've got, this is a black bear, which here's a grizzly, and here's a cat. So, what would you pick for her? Well, guess what I'm going to do? One, two, three, we're going to do randomly again. Um, I usually don't do it this way, but I'm doing it just because you're along with me and it's kind of fun. I like randomness. So let's see what it picks. Picks number two. So we're going to send the grizzly bear. And if she's watching, I hope that you like the one that, that was picked for you. We'll do this washi because it kind of matches. It actually doesn't take a lot of washi to decorate a postcard. So you could get like just a couple of them and it can last for quite a while. All right, and now we'll do the stamps. Okay, I remembered that we're gonna do an envelope this time, yes. So I figured out how to send um, an international using the stamps that I have, and how it comes down is this. So we do two postcards, two forever postcard stamps, which are 48 cents each. So I'm going to need to get some more if I'm going to do this way. And then we can do one of these, a 44 center, and then we just need five more cents. There you go. There's our new formula for international. I have these stickers that look like stamps. So they're not really stamps, but I'm going to use one of those on the inside. So I'm going to just make this an animal themed postcard and put some of them that aren't really here. So like I'm going to put Mr. Sloth up here and then Gecko down here. I know it's not really Montana, but hey, it's, it is what it is. And she mentioned she would like some Netherlands stamps because she, of course, in the international ones because she doesn't get the international one. But I have something different for her. This is my pseudo stamp collection. I actually got a lot of stamps and a lot um, that I purchased that were supposed to all be postcards, but there was a whole bunch of other like envelopes and envelopes of stamps. And this is my Netherlands page. And they all kind of got jumbled in here, but I think I might have what she wants. So I'm going to send her the new ones here. And also maybe just a couple of the old ones. So I'm gonna send her this in the envelope as well. It's going to the Netherlands. And once again, we don't have any incoming ones. I bet you they're all gonna come in after we're done with this month. And then I will share them with you on this channel. So. I have a bunch of Christmas ones as a next because I'm going in alphabetical order. We just got through Christmas. This is a folded card. This one somebody made out of a Mar Marie Inglebright uh, uh, thing, I think a book or something. So yeah, she made that herself. Uh, this is cute. It's a shaped postcard. Uh, that one comes from Malaysia. There's actually quite a few postcrossers from Malaysia. Another shaped postcard. And this one is kind of interesting because you see that it's in the sleeve and they cut this part out. I think it was probably like this. And so then it would still get the cancellation on it. So that was really interesting. Um, one with a male theme. Got a couple more shaped cards. They are so cute, these snow globes. Hold them a little farther away so you can see them better. Yeah, these snow globes are so adorable. And there's the one with the deer on it. And this one was really cool. Somebody, uh, yeah, sent that of their actual nativity. Here's a folded card, but it's gingerbread. Um, meetup card. 
I would like to do a meetup sometime. So if you are Montana area or nearby, Surf and Santa here, let me know. I would love to be a part of a meetup. I thought for a second that I should organize it myself. And then I'm like, I don't have time for that. I am so busy with all these other things. Plus, I've been making a video for you guys every day this month. It's been taking up a little bit of a time, bit of time. This is a Towson shown. Um, yeah, I just love these ones. These are some of my favorites. I don't get them a lot, and I understand because they are very special, uh, but I just love that one. Russia Christmas. And so, yeah, so if anybody wants to let me know about a Montana meetup, I'll certainly help it. But at this point, I just wouldn't be able to do it myself. I just have too many commitments. I would, I think, I tend to like think, hey, I can do that, but I can't do everything. This is a, this isn't exactly a Christmas one, is it? Oh well, I got in the Christmases. Vintage style look. Okay. So there you have it, guys, um, and I'll see you on the next page. Goodbye.